With all the news coverage about the volcanic activity in Hawaii, it's easy to think that all of it is in danger, but volcanologist Ken Hahn is here to set the record straight. Ken, good morning to you. Good morning, Alex. Thanks for having me on. Of course, nice to have you. So first, I suppose we should start, what is the current status of the volcanic activity there? Well, the volcanic activity is pretty much the same as it has been for the last two weeks. We have a single vent that's pouring lava into a large channel that's traveling about 10 miles and going straight into the ocean. Okay. So this is kind of the condition that's been for the last 10 days. And how does it compare in terms of history to other volcanic eruptions? Well, I think most people think of uh, volcanoes, they think of big, tall, steep-sided volcanoes, composite volcanoes like Mount St. Helens before it erupted in 1980. And these are uh, volcanoes that tend to erupt explosively. Kilauea volcano is a shield volcano. It erupts more passively. It pours out large volumes of very fluid basaltic lava, so it makes a low sloping volcano. And actually, the island of Hawaii is famous for these eruptions that people oftentimes come here just so that they can get a close look at, at lava eruptions. Right, and I, like I was saying, there's been a lot of news coverage about it, and there might be some misinformation that's been going around. So you're here, to, like I said, to sort of uh, change the narrative on that for us. What don't people know? What aren't they being told about this eruption uh, in terms of visiting Hawaii? Well, I think there has been a lot of interesting things and interesting viewpoints put out there. And, and you look at the, on the news, and while this is a very dramatic eruption, and while it definitely has had a large impact on the the people who lived immediately adjacent to the places where the lava is flowing. For the rest of the island, there's really no danger at all. And I live in Hilo, about 20 miles outside of the eruption area. And you would be hard pressed to know that a volcano was erupting uh, while in Hilo. So it's had a major impact on the people that live there. And many of the people have lost their homes and have to be relocated. And so both scientists and officials continue to monitor that very closely. But for the average person, we're talking about um, this is a, a time when you can still visit the island and, and actually not be impacted by this at all. Right, and I suppose it's a good time to also highlight, uh, I mean, it's obviously a unique geography there uh, for people who want adventure, right? I mean, what are the different uh, facets of Hawaii that they can see? I mean, obviously they can go and witness this volcano, but uh, that's just part of the beauty. Right, and you know, our island has a, a lot of wonderful beaches. It has a lot of hiking. And while a lot of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is closed right now, the southern part is still open. And there's areas like the saddle area in between Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea that your people can go up to and hike. It'd be a national park if it was any place else in the world. Uh, so there's a lot of beautiful places and things to do on the island that are still open to tourists. The impact on the island by the lava flows is relatively small. Less than 1% of the island's area has been covered by these lava flows. So the rest of the island is pretty much open for people to go about and explore. Right, well, it's nice to have, uh, for once, a, a real sober look at what's actually happening in Hawaii instead of uh, all the crazy, uh, you know, sensationalized coverage that's been going on. So Ken, thanks for the great uh, information and uh, have a great time there. It's a beautiful place. Thanks very much, Alex. All right. Stay right where you are. We'll be right back.